Why? Why else do you think all the police are all over the place? My dad nearly did it after what he did to our Kelly. Oh, then I don't think you should be talking like that, especially someone who's just died. Well, Chris Tate was the hypocrite, not me. I bet I can guess what's on top of today's agenda. I'm gonna get a paper now. What do you need a paper for? My agenda. Unless mm -hmm. she thinks she is. Well, come on then. Charity bumped him off for his money. Did she? Yeah, well, she's making it all. I mean, I'm not one to speak ill of someone, but that charity is a bit hard faced, uh, isn't she? <clears throat> hmm? Oh, <laughs> I'm really sorry about what happened to Chris. Mm. I think I'll get a paper later. It's cool. <sighs> OK, thank you, gents and ladies. There are sufficient suspicious circumstances surrounding the death of Christopher Tate for us to treat it as a murder investigation. Now, for one thing, his desk was ransacked. Now, I don't want this to go cold while we're waiting for forensics. Littler and Johnson, will you go door to door? The usual stuff. Uh, anybody got any grudges? How he got on with his missus? That sort of thing. Try and be subtle. Especially you, Littler. Me? The rumour mill in a place like this doesn't need any extra grist. Let them point the finger, not us. Right. Cover the village. Workers and tenants on home farm estate. Anything else, Liana? Uh, some of you probably already know this, but uh, Charity Tate was formerly Charity Dingle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the same crew. Well, she's banged to rights, then. <laughs> no, she isn't. That's exactly what I'm on about. Might be a novel concept to you lot, but our job is to find the truth. Come here. Come here. How you doing, kiddo? I've been worrying about you all night. Do you want a brew? No, Tad. Is so Debbie around? No. Well, Lana, I really hope the kids don't give her too much stick at school. They won't. Won't they? Because half the morons round here have already decided what's happened. She's, uh, <coughs> she's not at school, Charity. I think she's gone off. What do you mean? We came last night. You what? They didn't come back. Where the hell's he gone? How do I know? He's just going to make it worse. And why has he dragged Debbie into all of this? Why has he done a runner? <sighs> yeah, Chris Tate, Home Farm, Emmerdale, please, be quick. Please. <laughs> He must be a right charmer, Mrs Tate. Do you think he sounds frightened? But why else would a respectable businessman call for help like that? He wasn't going anywhere fast in his wheelchair, was he? And she's hardly the put-upon little wife. Look at her file. She was caught soliciting at 15. Doesn't make her a cold-blooded killer. Because that's what we'd be talking about. OK, folks, back to work. He had a knife! I have never seen him wound up like he was before he went to one farm, and that is saying something for Kay. Yeah, and that's because I'd knocked him back. I told him there was never a chance of me and him getting back together. No, he wasn't gunning for you, it was Chris. So what are you saying? You said he was going to kill him. He says that to traffic wardens when he gets booked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the difference is Chris is dead! You don't really believe... You're as bad as the rest of them. No, Marla. no, Charity, I'm not. I'm not just dreaming up stuff for the sake of something to talk about. I'm telling you what happened and the state he was in. Kane did nothing to Chris. And don't you go around telling people that he did. Because I was there. So he just passed peacefully away. Well, he wasn't stabbed. <laughs> I, I never knew what you saw in Kane in the first place. I could never understand it all them years ago. I suppose I've been better off with you, eh? Well, I wouldn't have run out on you at a time like this. Please do sit down. Would you like a tea or a coffee? No, thanks. Now, we shouldn't take too much of your time. Good, because I've got a lot to do. I was on my way up to Home Farm when you arrived. I'm afraid that won't be possible just yet. Why on earth not? We have to be thorough investigating a case like this. What sort of case exactly are we talking about? We won't know that till we've completed our inquiries. Yes, Jarvis. Usual, please. How will Chris's death affect you work-wise? People still need the refuse removed. There's no room for sentiment in environmental health. Or if the company goes belly up. Why should it? 
Mrs Tate, I'm ordered to be running it than him. Ah, I suppose Mrs Tate isn't running it anymore. How do you mean? Well, you know what people are saying. I don't take any notice of what people say. Best way, if you ask me. How was your brother leading up to his death? Was he particularly anxious about anything? His illness, of course. Just that? Just! He's got a child and he learnt they might only have a few months to live. But he'd come to terms with that. In a way. Certainly hadn't thrown the towel in. He's a... He was a fighter. And he'd made arrangements to start having treatment and... He'd booked a holiday to... to spend time with us all. But he was totally positive and... Knowing Chris, he could have beaten it. After how he coped with his accident, there was nothing he couldn't handle. What are you getting at? You aren't suggesting that he killed himself. Because if that's what you're implying, you couldn't have got it more wrong. Why would you even suggest something like that? We have to look at all possibilities. Well, you can rule that one out. We'll have a better idea when the forensic results come back. Aren't you listening? My brother was not a quitter, full stop. But if he thought there was no realistic cure, people can see it as an option. Not him. And if there was some remote chance that it entered his head, don't you think he might have discussed it with me? Maybe he wanted to protect you. Well, how has he protected me? He wouldn't do this to me. He wouldn't do it to Joseph, who the two people that he loves loved. Not his wife? Maybe once. Until? My brother did not kill himself. If anyone deserved to die, it was her. So we know. Well, why not, after the way she treated him? Go on. She had an affair with Kane Tingle. After my brother had offered to take in their illegitimate child. He even handled that. He dealt with situations, not ran away from them. Perhaps you'd like to write that down in your book. Mr Christopher Tate did not kill himself. You knew Mr Tate quite well. Oh, yes, very well indeed. And his father before him, poor Frank. It, did, did you say something about suspicious circumstances? No. Why, is that what you've heard? Oh, <laughs> I take no notice of gossip, me. No, not like some folk. <laughs> but it is funny that both father and son were led a merry dance by flighty young women and they both came to an untimely end. Coincidence, officer? You tell me. So what do you reckon to Mrs Tate, then? Oh, Charity, she'll always be a dingle to me. Of course, she was having unnatural relations with Kane Dingle. That's why him and Chris Tate had a set to win the pub, I reckon. The day before Chris Tate died. Do you think Chris committed suicide? It seems pointless to speculate. Ashley, please don't say the right thing. Just tell me what you think. Who knows how anyone would do it until they're terminally ill? So you agree with the police? You think Chris took the coward's way out? I don't. Well, you're wrong. He might have been many things, but he wasn't a coward. I don't think ending one's own life is necessarily an act of cowardice. You're generalising it. Do you think that's what Chris did? No. No, of course he didn't. For all we know, his illness might have been more advanced than even he knew. Then why aren't the police treating as natural causes? Unless they know something they're not telling me. I'm sure we'll be the first to know once they've completed their inquiries. But they're not treating as natural causes. And I know it wasn't suicide, so... So someone must have killed him. <laughs> That's rather a big leap. I don't think so. Who is the one person who would materially gain from his death? And I'm not talking about some minor act of revenge or someone who merely resented Chris. Who would gain everything if he died but end up back where she came from, back on the streets, if he lived. Charity. Can 
Can I get you anything else? No, I'm fine, mate. Not a complete double glazing system. Patio windows, roof lights, all work guaranteed. Easy terms agreed. You think I'm mad, don't you? This isn't my proper job. I'm just helping out after a family crisis. Of course, you'll know all about that if you're dealing with the Tate tragedy. What do you know about that? Well, not guilty. In fact, I'm a victim myself. 20 PVC windows down the pan. Any hope? Are they effy? No way. No chance. Well, if they're not effy, they'll be pricey. What's money if you can't be snug and safe in your own home? I bet that's what Christopher Tate thought. Good point. Well made. I don't know why you were pushing the suicide tag. I mean, his desk had been ransacked. Perhaps he'd lost his key. Anyway, there's nothing we can do on that front till we see what forensics find on the drawer. His sister certainly didn't think he'd kill himself. Yeah, but no one wants to believe that their relative might have topped themselves. Maybe, but I believed her when she said he never would. You can see she's intelligent. Yeah, well, the day we start giving witnesses IQ tests, I'll jack it in. Uniforms are another matter. I've got a result, boss. What, the pies are nice? Charity Tater and Kane Dingle were more than just kissing cousins. A lot more. Christopher Tate knew. So do we. Well, have you lifted him, then? The pair of them come to that. Not yet. We can't go arresting people based on innuendo. Oh, you, you've probably done the same for less. Oh, finish your pie and go and rattle a few <laughs> door knockers. Even he can see it's obvious. Yeah, a tad too obvious. It's a lead. It's something. That's all I'm saying. But we are implying this. I'm dragging my feet. Well, you're the one that didn't want to let it go cold. I also don't want to waste time colouring a likely candidate just so that you, the public and the press, feel better. So we do nothing? <sighs> we go and talk to Kane Dingle. And don't look so smug. She's not answering. Debbie, listen, you get this message, you call me, right? I bet you Kane's flogged a film for the price of a pint. Oh, where's Uncle Zach? Well, it's probably just as well he's not here. He'd only start fighting with the cops. Well, at least he'd be doing something. I mean, where's Lisa? She's visiting a relative. It'll be next week before she gets <sighs> back. Hey, hey, be all right. Yeah? Yeah, Gisel, DSP have come to win. Mrs. Ted! What might you be doing here? I might ask you the same question. We were hoping to speak to Ken Dingle. He's out. When will he be back? Long to himself, that lad. But surely he let you know where he was going. Why would he? Don't you have, um, a special relationship? He's the father of my daughter. She's 13. He's taken her on a little break. And you don't know where to? No. <sighs> How are things with you and Kane now? What's that got to do with anything? It's probably just gossip in the village, but somebody mentioned a recent affair. So why are you asking me? Answer the question, Charity. You've done nothing wrong. Thank you, Mr... Uh... Dingle. <laughs> Hey, whoa, 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 what's that supposed to mean, eh? I'm a respectable chef. I'm not, I'm not a liar, I'm a criminal. Well, that's refreshing. Oh, what are you taking off this investigation? I'm sorry. Just you remember, I am the injured party here. Isn't your husband the injured party? <laughs> Actually, I'm glad we bumped into each other again. There's something you might be able to clear up for us. Well, I might if you tell me what it is. You'll have to come down the station. So you're lifting me? No. You're not under arrest. This would be entirely voluntary. It's best you get it sorted. Ta. Hey, you're not having one. It's my house. Since when have you had a bottle of scotch in, anyway? Don't knock it. Someone left after a barbecue. Donna probably nicked it from the shop and disappeared off of Robert before she could finish oh, it. Don't tell me. Who's running the show now, anyway? Well, we're down to you and me till Zoe and Charity get their act together. Well, where does Charity stand? What with her and Chris being apart? Depends. On well, whether she did him in or not. Yeah, we'll have less of that. That's what Kate reckons everyone's saying. Yeah, well, we had enough of that nonsense when your mum died. Have you any idea what really happened? 
All I know is that it shouldn't have turned out like this. You getting that? Sometimes I thought I could fathom him out. You know, he'd be dead open with me, and then other times he'd say something, and you think, where did that come from? <laughs> he could be a right awkward cuss. Oh, yeah, he could be right vindictive. I still miss him, though. Yeah, me and all. Chris. Chris. Interview of Charity Tate at time of 17.30. What are you doing? You said you're not arresting me. Yeah, it's in your own interest. You're free to go at any time. 19th September 2003, Houghton Police Station. Officers present are Detective Sergeant Pugh and... D.I. Tom Kiesel. For the tape, I have to remind you, you are under caution. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. According to several witnesses... What witnesses? You went to Home Farm to demand property. Well, you should know your lot got called out. And I didn't set off demanding. I went to collect my car. Given to you by Mr Tate? Yeah, he was my husband. He liked to shower me with nice things. Which you repossessed when you had the affair. Why have you dragged me all this way to ask me that? I thought I was supposed to be clearing something up. Sorry. Can you fetch it, Leanna? It's a bit OTT, isn't it? Clearing Charity's car away. Maybe she didn't pay a parking ticket. I thought you were on her side. She's a tramp. What was all that when you gone up to Home Farm and opened a clear away a clubber? It was just to put Chris's nose out of joint. I hope they all rot in hell. Oh, come on, mate. I reckon that Chris's bark was worse than his bite. He tried to take away my livelihood. He kicked me out of my home and, not content with that, he decided to get me banged up for rape. He wasn't ungenerous in the tipping department. I don't believe you. I, I, I just like to see the best in people. That's what I mean. Life's too short. That's why you are what you are. What the kind of guy everybody likes. A barman in a backwater. Going through for a tip. Yeah, I know, yeah. But, you know, I'm really happy. <laughs> <laughs> What's this, the laughing policeman? I'm asking DS Pugh to play the 3 nines recording of 17th of September 2003. Look, what is this about? You said you were hoping to patch things up with Chris. I wanted to. But? I really did. But? He didn't want to know. I thought if we could talk things through, he'd asked me to go up there. I said I'd do anything to make it work. Look, I've told you this. What is that? It must have been really frustrating for you when he didn't want to know. Yeah, so if you could, um, keep it from him till I have a chance to tell him. Yeah, thank you. Saturday afternoon, then. Bye. Joseph's house tutor. He doesn't know. Shall I come with you? Please. I'm sure you'll have the right words. There aren't any. No. How do I tell a little boy that his daddy's dead? And that his sometimes stepmother murdered him? Why have we left her in there with time to come up with some cock and bull story? I thought she would benefit from a period of quiet reflection. She's never going to cough that one. We should push her on why the desk was broken into. Let's find out if there's any dabs on it first. And supposing they're cane dingles? Can you put a search out on him? Cain Dingle. Happy now? Once we haul them in, won't take them long before they trip each other up. A pair of Dingles. Probably think they've done the crime of the century. Not the sharpest tools in the box, any of them. Maybe not. But Christopher Tate might have been. Debbie. Where are you, darling? Well, just tell me. Well, why can't you? It's Kane, isn't it? Just put him on, baby. 
Well, are you okay? Please, Debbie, will you just come back to me, please? Just keep in touch, yeah? Anyone we know? Mind your own business. Sit down, please. Interview with Mrs. Charity Tate recommenced at 1845, 19th of September 2003. Officers present are D.S. Pugh and... T.I. Tom Kiesel. May I remind you, you are still under caution. So, Charity, you've heard the tape. It was your husband. You know that. And he was obviously distressed. Less than an hour before he died. Is there anything you want to say to us? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Proves he set me up. What? Why would he do that? Well, how do I know? One minute I was stood talking to him and the next... he was dying. So how the hell do I know what was going on in his head? So you just charge me or I'm going. You can go. We might want to talk to you again. Look, I never harmed him, right? It's the last thing I wanted. Interview terminated at 18.47. Yes, it's my wife. She's forced away and she's... She, she's trying to hurt me. <laughs>